Hey, what's up you guys? Sharkness Prime here doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Vintage Collection Retro Carded Webman. Try and get your Marvel Legends, you can do so. Such your feelings, you know it to be true. Dark Side Toys is a store for you. Link below. Go on down there, I ask you to please hit that like button, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And wow, this looks really cool. I mean, just looking at it in package, I like it. It's an inverse Spider Man, I know, not that complex, but anyway, nice image of Webman right over there. It says inverted design, and then nothing on the side, of course, but on the back, you can see how you can swap the hands. There's Webman again. There's a read up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. Nothing really on the side, top or bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. <laughs> And here's Webman out of the packaging. Now, when this body mold first arrived, I was totally against it being used for a Spider-Man. And I still kind of feel that way, but not so much. Anyway, let's get a closer look at the accessories, and then we'll take a closer look at Webman. So I love that we're getting the proper three sets of hands with the fisted, thwipping, and wall crawling hands, but I still have a major gripe with these. And it's not the deco. The deco looks really good on pretty much every single one of them. I hadn't seen any weird paint apps or anything like that with these, so I'm happy with the way they look, but I don't like how they look on the figure, and I think it's the way they put this hole into the wrist. It has this weird angle so that when I put a hand inside, it kind of has this weird pin is going that way instead of running straight into the elbow joint. You can see that angle right there. It looks especially bad with the fisted hand. So you can see how the fist has got this weird angle to it. And that just really frustrates me. But other than that, I'm happy to get all these hands. <laughs> Now, in case you guys haven't heard, I am starting my own action figure line, and the Kickstarter launch date is October 7th. If you're interested, check out the video. Link in the description below. Now, this character is Webman, who is a product of Doctor Doom's twin machine, who's supposed to have all the opposite features of Spider-Man. Spider-Man looks in the mirror, and then, boom, we have Webman, and he's a dumbass. He's really stupid, because Spider-Man is really smart, and this is, like, the first real letdown Spider-Man of all time. And even though it is a real repainted advanced suit spider-man figure i think it looks really good you know i like this uk spider-man head sculpt and the cobweb pattern came out fairly clean throughout the figure there are some imperfections on the back which we'll see right over here you can see some of that smearing and whatnot but the cobweb pattern mostly looks very good and i like these colors it's just so much more appealing in person than i thought it was going to be like not that i thought it was going to be weak but now i want an inverted webman like a regular spider-man with these colors however i do prefer uh the vintage collection spider-man body mold a lot more so than this one right over here i, I did say originally when the spider-man 2099 mold came out that i didn't want this to be the new staple spider-man body mold and i really hope they keep the vintage card spider-man as the go-to you know even though it's almost the same thing but yeah you can see the pins right here aren't matching up i know bandai has figured this out because i did see a video of adam savage you know building a giant gundam they had dual colored pins that came out of the molding like that and i don't know how they figured that out but that'd be cool if hasbro could figure that out but regardless you know the deco looks clean that's like really the only new thing going on here you know looking at the deco and the paint apps I don't have many complaints about that at all and we still get peg holes and i think this is the first time we're seeing the sunfire body mold or the spidey 2099 body mold with the hole right there in the back so i like that added feature now the articulation we've gone over this so many times already there's nothing really new about it over here with this figure uh, we get the butterfly joints shoulders only move outward that far and rotate a full 360 bicep swivel the double jointed elbows wrist all turn side to side and hinge up and down ab crunch forward back waist swivel hips move outward that far and i really do miss the drop down hips on this figure this is where it's really lacking is with the vintage collection spider-man you just get a whole lot more range of motion at the hips with that whole drop down feature the legs don't really move back over here up a thigh cut and then you get the double jointed knees calf rotation ankles do move down up and beautiful ankle pivot now to measure out this webman figure he is standing just below the six and a half inch mark six and a half inches sounds like a good height for each then here's webman next to the advanced suit spider-man figure and yeah you could see it's just the same thing repainted over here of course with the uk spider-man head sculpt and i wanted to do a head swap this makes no sense at all whatsoever but i just wanted to see it i'm so 
jewelry. I just wanted to see it. Then here's Webman next to a couple other Spider-Man figures. We have the Vintage Collection Spider-Man, and we have the Pizza Spider-Man figure, which is missing an arm, because to make an omelet, you gotta crack a few eggs. This is my new favorite Spider-Man figure. Uh, I love this. This is still dope as hell. I still prefer this body mold for Spidey over this one. And this one, too. And here's our Vintage Collection Webman next to the Vintage Collection Doctor Doom, Webman's daddy. Then here's Webman next to the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Bizarro, and these two are essentially like the same character, right? Right? Kinda, but I guess this one only lasted two issues. And then here's Webman next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider Man. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Wait, you're no brother? He <laughs> Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please show some love to the channel by hitting that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big thanks to all these people that are supporting the time put into these videos via the Tron and membership. If you're interested, check the link in the description below. And I'm sorry this video is going up so late. It has been a very busy weekend with the two gigs and posting up a video on the street humans earlier today so this video is going up a lot later than i wanted to but anyway this figure i really like it i think it's the colors that really sell me on it i really like these vibrant colors it's just a lot of fun it's very photogenic that's what i like about the figure more than anything it's fun taking pictures of it which really goes a long way right so i'm actually digging the figure even though i have my complaints <laughs> Uh, those blue pins sticking out through the red, that really bothers me a lot. And the lack of the drop-down hips that I've already gotten used to on the Vintage Collection Spider-Man, yeah, those things bother me. And I do prefer that other mold, but I still like this figure. And at the price point of around 25 bucks, I guess it's 25 to 7 bucks now for these things. It's, yeah, the prices are going up. I'm going to give this webman a sun rating of... I love it! And I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comments section below. If you want to see the latest Marvel news and a photo gallery of images from this video, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. If you want to find me over on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And I will have a Captain Carter review coming to you guys very soon. So stay tuned for that, and I will catch you guys later. Peace! Hey, I'm sure of Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.